Imagine you're holding a flashlight. You turn it on. What happens to the light? It shoots forward, right? Now imagine you're in a spaceship hurtling through space at 99% the speed of light. You turn on that same flashlight. Does the light now travel at nearly twice the speed of light? The answer will blow your mind. The speed of light, often denoted as C, is the universe's ultimate speed limit. It's roughly 299,792,458 meters per second, or about 671 million miles per hour. But why can't anything go faster? It all boils down to Einstein's theory of special relativity. One of its core principles is that the laws of physics are the same for everyone, regardless of how fast they're moving. This seemingly simple idea has profound implications. As an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases. The faster it goes, the more massive it becomes. This isn't just a theoretical concept. It's been experimentally verified with particle accelerators. Now here's a less known fact. This mass increase requires more and more energy to accelerate the object further. So what happens when an object reaches the speed of light? Its mass becomes infinite. And to accelerate an infinite mass, you'd need infinite energy. That's why it's impossible. But wait, there's a twist. This only applies to objects with mass. What about light itself or other massless particles like gluons? They always travel at the speed of light. It's not a speed they reach. It's their inherent state of being. And here's an even bigger twist. While nothing can travel through space faster than light, space itself can expand faster than light. This is what happened during the universe's inflationary period shortly after the Big Bang, and it's still happening today with the accelerating expansion of the universe. So back to our spaceship. Even if you were traveling at 99% the speed of light, the light from your flashlight would still move away from you at the speed of light. It seems counterintuitive, but that's the beauty and strangeness of the universe. The speed of light isn't just a limit, it's a fundamental constant that shapes our understanding of reality. The idea that there's this ultimate speed limit may seem restricting, but it's also unifying. It connects us all. Every photon, every interaction in the universe is bound by this cosmic speed, and understanding it brings us closer to understanding the very fabric of existence. Think about that. The next time you see the sun, know that its light has traveled for millions of years, bound by the same constant, to reach you. We are all connected by light and limited by the same cosmic speed.